Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to cover corneal lacerations, which are cut in the front part of the eye. And it's a terrible injury that can lead to permanent loss of vision. It's, even if we do the best that we can, it could still cause blindness. Now to better understand a corneal laceration, let's take a look at the eye model and remember that the cornea is the clear shield that covers the front of the eye. This is a very thin tissue. In fact, it's only about half a millimeter thick, which is about the thickness of five sheets of paper put together. So you can imagine something this thin can easily be cut or split open. This is not to be confused with a corneal abrasion, which is only a scratch on the front part of the eye where the surface layers can be scraped off that causes a lot of pain and irritation, but it is not needed to surgically treat that. With the corneal laceration, it goes through the full thickness of the cornea, and it's an emergency to be repaired. We like to do it as soon as possible, and especially we don't like to let it wait longer than 24 hours before we get it repaired. So, when the laceration happens, it is possible that parts from inside the eye can start to come out through, from the eye. So this could be the iris or the colored part that sits behind the cornea or the lens which sits behind the iris which helps focus the light into the back of the eye. With the operation, our first goal is just to help try to save the eye and get it closed and repaired adequately. If the iris has started to come out of the eye, we like to replace that back into the eye, if at all possible, rather than remove it. If the lens has been injured and caused a cataract, that may need to be removed at the time of the repair or later. And with the repair, what we need to do is use stitches, very fine sutures, to close the laceration. These stitches, as you can imagine, as we're working in a very thin cornea, the stitches are very thin as well. In fact, the ones we usually use are about the thickness of two red blood cells put together. So with that, hopefully we can get the eye watertight so it can hold pressure and hold the fluid that naturally is produced inside the eye. And then we can wait about three months before we remove the stitches out from the eye. After the surgery, one of the biggest risks is an infection that even if we repair the best as possible, an infection could still lead to blindness. And because of this, we have the patients use antibiotics and sometimes even antibiotic pills or injection of antibiotics into the eye. Once they have a chance to heal, a scar may still limit the vision. And if this scar is in the center and interfering with the vision, patients may need a corneal transplant in order to make the vision clear again. Otherwise, they may be able to get adequate vision with a rigid contact lens. Other complications, like if the lens was injured and caused a cataract, or if there was injury to the retina, would also have to be treated. So, we hope you learned something about corneal lacerations. If you have any questions, please post. We'll be happy to interact with you. And we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.